Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use Intune device configuration policies to create a block list for Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge. Now, using this block list, you can stop users from accessing certain URLs or websites. In front of you is a virtual machine that is running Windows 11 Pro. And I've just downloaded Google Chrome. And this virtual machine or device has been joined to Azure AD, as you can see on the screen, and it has been enrolled in Microsoft Intune. So these are the prerequisites for this video. And this video will be applicable for Windows 10 as well. So if you have Windows 10 devices, nothing else changes. It's the same process. Let's go ahead and see how this is done. OK. I've logged into Microsoft 365 Admin Center using my global administrator account. And now we're going to open up Endpoint Manager. In Endpoint Manager, select Devices, scroll down, and click on Configuration Profiles. Click on Create Profile. Under Platform, select Windows 10 and later. Under Profile Type, select Settings Catalog and click Create button. In here, we're going to give a name to our policy or our profile. I'm going to call it Block List for Chrome and Edge. If you like, you're welcome to give it a description as well, explaining what this policy or what this profile does. In this tutorial, I'm going to leave the description box empty. Click Next. Under Configuration Settings, click on Add Settings. In Settings Picker, search for the keyword Block List. Click Search button. And you need to click on this setting here, Administrative Templates, backslash Google, backslash Google Chrome. And in here, select Block Access to a list of URLs. So I'm going to enable this setting by ticking this checkbox. And I'm going to do the same for Microsoft Edge. Block access to a list of URLs. So I'm going to enable that setting for Edge. OK, that's done. I'm going to get out of this settings picker now. As you can see, we've got both settings here. I'm going to enable both of them now. So toggle this switch to enable. And in here, you can write down or import a list of websites that you want to block. So in this example, I'm just going to type a random website. Let's say we don't want our users to access Facebook while they're at work. So I'm going to type facebook.com. I'm going to do the same for Microsoft Edge. Enable the setting first and populate the list of websites. I'm going to just type facebook.com in here as well. OK. That's all done and click Next. We'll leave this Corp Tags default. If you've got any tags that you want to attach to this um, device configuration profile, feel free to do so. I'm going to leave it to default. I don't have any Corp Tags. I'm going to click Next. Now, in production, I strongly recommend that you test this policy with a subset of your users before deploying it to everyone. But in this example, since it's a test environment, I am going to um, apply to all of my devices. So I'm going to click on Add All Devices. As you can see, All Devices Security Group has been added. Um, this is a default security group that's in Azure Active Directory. And I'm going to click Next. OK, that's it. And the final step is to click Create. Now, once the policy has been created, it can take up to an hour for um, your devices to be getting this policy from Intune or Endpoint Manager. Um, so give it some time. And um, you can either wait until the policy is applied and test, or you can go back to the device and do a sync, or you can do it from um, 
Intune uh, portal or Endpoint Manager Admin Center as well. So I will quickly show you how to do a force sync. So any newly created device configuration policies or any changes that you've done in Intune get synced straight away rather than you having to wait. So go to Devices and this is a Windows device. So I'm going to select my device. And I'm going to click the sync button. What this will do is this will attempt to sync with the device. Obviously, the device needs to be turned on and it needs to be connected to the Internet for this to work. Um, given that those conditions are met, um, it will sync um, the latest policies to your device. So I'm going to select yes. Okay, the sync has been initiated. It can still take about 15 minutes. So I'm going to pause this video for now. And when I come back, we're going to be on the virtual machine and we're going to test the policy that we just created. Um, in theory, if everything had gone as expected, Facebook.com should be blocked and we should be getting a message saying we cannot access Facebook.com. So um, let me pause the video and I'll be back shortly. Okay, so we're back on the test machine. It is time to see if the device configuration policy has been applied successfully or not. I've opened up Google Chrome. Let's go to facebook.com and see how it is looking. Wonderful. As you guys can see on the screen, our policy is working perfectly fine. Facebook.com is blocked. Now, you should get the same result when you're testing this on Microsoft Edge as well. So, guys, this is the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new today. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot and have a great day.